So, <laughs> so you know, be, be prepared for those battles. So, anyway, uh, you guys ready to look at photos? Yep. Yep. All right. Let me uh, turn off all these banners so I'm not covering anybody's face. And let's get into it. All right. Can you guys see this okay? Yep. Yep. All right. So we're going to start with the uh, Sume Art. Um, this is a six scale diorama that went up for pre order this week. Isn't this thing insane? Definitely a lot going on. Do you guys like it? I like it, but I was like, I was telling you guys earlier, I don't know if I like the whole background. I mean, I like the way it looks. I don't know if it's something I would collect with like the whole boxed and background look to it. Uh, I really like this one a lot, but I'm not collecting six scale. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I don't know what what's a uh, Batman sanity Je or Eric. Uh, six scale. Damn it. <laughs> so this was what sixteen hundred something like that. Uh, I think it was a little less. Uh, I had the price wrong in my video. I think it was a little bit less. Okay. Maybe like more like twelve hundred. I think it's a lot of fun. I do, you know, a lot of people have like said that these seem like they're pretty overpriced. Do you guys agree with that for what you're getting? I mean, you're getting a lot of statue. Yeah. It's almost like a, a panel, a panel out of a comic book. It's like old tire scene going on. <laughs> I mean, how much was sanity? Uh what did I pay that? Twenty, twenty five hundred. So you're getting one, two, three, four, four six scale figures. Even though they're minor characters or you know just security guards, hmm. but um, he looks great. Yeah. As I say that, I love this. I think it's the sculpt looks great. What's going on with that guy? I just noticed that. Why is his face blue? I was wondering that too. I what think it's just the lighting they used. I don't think huh. I don't think he's actually blue. It's on his hand too. Let me see if we can. Or maybe he's dying yeah, that's, from the That's the same picture right there. So I think it's just the lighting they used. Because hmm. he's not blue there. Uh, does it have lights in it? Um, I don't think so. Well, he, could, he looks kind of blue there. Maybe he's like... Uh, it could be a shading effect. Or something. from the gas and he's turning blue. <laughs> oh, it does have lights. Uh it does have lights. Uh, the little. Hmm. Did he freeze? Yeah. Either that or he's okay. holding still very good. Mm -hmm. Psyching yeah. us out. The portrait looks really good there. We'll see yeah. The like portrait it. is, I mean, it looks cool. It, I'm trying to think of the place. They have like things that they co that are collectible, but I, they have like a. You used to see them in the newspaper, like the Sunday paper. What you order it and pay for it in installments. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. They they do have some comic character things, but yeah. there's a lot going on so usually in their things like this. Is this an actual prototype or is this kind of like photoshopped a little bit? It kind of looks too good. I think this is a prototype. It looks really good. Again, a lot of detail. Well, not Photoshop, like the digital art. No, 3D yeah. art. I think this is a real photo. So there's this one that's, you know, more of the traditional Joker with the purple. And then there's also this one. This is the deluxe. This one was quite a bit more expensive. This one is uh, 300 pieces. Do you get both if you order? Uh, I think you get one or the other, I think. Okay. So this one's got Bud and Lou. And obviously the Joker in the more Arkham suit. And then there's also those little details like uh, the Bud and Lou hanging down off the security camera. A little Harley mallet. 
Um, but again, same Joker, just different coloring. The edition sizes look low. I think the first one said 600 pieces. This one says 300 pieces. Yeah, apparently they're, they're already sold out. Um, wow. I know, like, I think Todd's got some still. Um, but still, it's a really neat piece. I'm, I've, I've really considered it. I just don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole when I said I was going to get not do anything smaller. But it is a fun-looking piece. It's done really well. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't know. To have a, a Joker and that much green gas going around, I think I'd rather have that that Prime one Joker with the the Robin. Yeah, the say cheese. Yeah. Which one do you guys like better? Do you like the, the orange jumpsuit or the purple? Orange for me. I like the first one, but I guess the orange makes more sense if he's breaking out of jail. It's, the orange is definitely something different. But fun piece. Again, really great detail. So congratulations to anybody that's picking this one up. It's definitely something unique. There's a button Lou. Uh, the deluxe one has more like graffiti on it and some other bells and whistles. So you're getting a little bit more detail. And it's, it's definitely impressive. I hope they, they can uh, deliver on the production. Oh, there it is. And there's the uh, size. Oh, so wow. it gives you kind of an idea how big it is. It's pretty awesome. You can put that um, in the uh, the gun cabinet. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it could fit in there. Um, this is the uh, Batman that they uh, came out with last year. It still hasn't shipped yet, but I believe this one was quite a bit cheaper than the Joker one. I still think this one's cool, too. We talked about that on uh, previous yeah. ep episodes yeah. of Rogue's Gallery. And I think we said, do you want to pay that much money just to have Batman and two goons that you're not really invested in. Yeah. But it does look really cool. Yeah. And the back side of that was looked good too, which I would kind of want to see the whole thing. Yeah. I'm anxious to see this one. The has done really well, if I yeah. remember right. Yeah, that's really neat. And the the if I remember right, the, the, the glass, the stained glass behind him is like a Joker face. Yeah. Which looks really cool. And I got a Batman emblem up there. So anyway, really cool pieces from them. It's, uh, yeah. it looks it's exciting. Like they're, uh, yeah, it looks like they're doing like a series. So I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see more of these. I would assume. It's exciting. So anyway, uh, great piece from Sume Art. Well, this one will wake us up. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so this one was teased out of nowhere today from um, PCS. This is Purgatory. And this is a third scale piece. I know this one uh, got the attention of Mr. Delaney. Yeah, I hope it comes with a divorce attorney, but <laughs> uh, it, it's a nice, it's, it's, so it's a Mark Newman sculpt. Nice. Really? Yeah. He's working for PCS? He said he did it for them a long time ago. You're kidding. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I but had I think, no idea. I think it looks beautiful, but I mean, it's going to be huge. The wings are huge. And, uh, but boy, gonna, boy, what a sculpt. I'm going to move this up a little bit so we get better ratings. <laughs> there you go. Who is it? Purgatory. It's in that okay. Lady Death okay. universe. Um, but yeah, the sculpt looks phenomenal. Obviously, there was um, Lady Death. And who was the, the other one they did? Um, Vamprilla. Yeah. yeah. So it goes in that, that line of third scale. But... This one looks better than either of those two. I agree. I mean, obviously, maybe a little bit more skin on this one. Um, There's a lot of skin on Vampirella. <laughs> well, I guess yeah. That, yeah, that's true. That is true. But yeah, this beautiful. chick has on gloves too, so she's covering up more. I yeah, think. that's true. Got the thigh high <laughs> boots. Or the, the hands. But anyway, I'm anxious to see the full reveal. And obviously, these these wings are going to be massive. Yeah. So this will be a fun one to keep our eye on. I think so. There's uh, no, no rush to take down the picture, but you had a super oh. chat from uh, Fatal the Collector. All right. Sorry about that. Let me go back, go back in, there. in there. Oh, I got an echo all of a sudden. There, there, now it's gone. Okay. Let's see. Super chat. Let me see. Where are we at? About like Has 10, it been a while ago? Like 10, 15 oh. comments up. 
Hmm, it's not showing on my end. Let me double check. Yeah, F Fatal well, the Collector. It looks like a super chat, but it wasn't. It was a banner saying he's a member for nine months. Oh, okay. Member for oh. It looks like a super chat. It's okay. Great. Well, thank so you for right. being a member for nine months. Hmm. That's awesome. Thank you. Right, Sorry about that. In. You're okay. I appreciate you just keeping me up. It I, I, makes me upset that I can't see the chat. I've never seen that I, before. Like, it drives me nuts. I hadn't noticed that before either. I thought it was a super chat too till I read it. Well, thank you guys for checking out anyway. All right. So have you guys seen these photos today? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is uh, Aliens. Uh, it's uh, Ellen Ripley. I think this is incredible. Um, this is uh, from Aliens. This is from Prime One Studio and Blitzway. Um, what do you guys think of this one? What do you think of the likeness? I think she looks too young. And, yeah. and I think Sigourney Weaver's face is maybe a little more elongated. It kind of looks like her, like Sigourney Weaver's cousin. Yeah. Younger cousin. I think they definitely captured her. But I, now that you're saying the younger thing, I, I, could, I agree with that. I think the pose is perfect. Um, I wish they, I wish Newt was a part of the statue. Yeah, that would have been cool. Um, the base is really fun. Oh. Um, it's got a, the bonus part here, which is great. The face hugger. You've got two super chats. Yeah, now you have. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> we inspired a super chat war here. I like it. All right. So we'll go into Lane. Lane, uh, two dollar super chat. Thank you, Lane. Um, PCS also revealed a picture of Jade from Mortal Kombat One Third. I haven't seen that one. I don't think. <clears throat> so thank you very much for that. And we also have another chat here. Five dollar super chat. Also an awesome member. Um, now you have a super chat. LOL. You guys rock. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's awesome of you guys. Uh, again, never feel like you uh, have to do super chats, but it is appreciated. So thank you guys very much. Um, again, it just goes right back in the channel. So thank you guys very much. Chris, awesome. if you want to see Jade, I just sent them to the sent it to the OG Rogues chat. Okay. All right. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. Let me uh, get that photo downloaded real quick. So did you guys hmm. notice that uh, both the uh, sideshow Captain America and Storm they show they they have the production picks up now? Yeah, I just saw you posted the the Captain America. Yeah. What was the other one? Storm. Oh yeah, Storm was earlier, right? Yeah. And now she has the uh, the light up base. She has the light up base, and the the costume looks even more silver than it did before. Before it was it was a oh. little more white, but now it's really silver. So she was already on uh, pre order, right? Like you could pre order the Storm. Oh, both of them. Both yeah. of them. Yeah. And then they changed it. Like you didn't even know you were getting a light up. So I guess I mean, total surprise. Yeah, it's crazy. Let me uh, put up here <clears throat> what you guys are speaking about. Let me load it here into my overlay. There we go. Yeah. So that's crazy. Have you ever seen them do a light up feature after the fact? Mm. No, I don't think, I think so. Think of, yeah. nope. There's another picture that shows the light up like up high. And it really looks like she's coming out of like a like a whirlpool. It looks really cool. That's really neat. Um, what did you think of the production photos? Do you think she looks good? I think she looks better than maybe even better than the proto. Some people still aren't happy with where with her hairline. It doesn't bother me, but some people think it looks like a wig. But I don't I don't get that feeling from it myself. All right, good. It would have been kind of cool if her eyes lit up. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that would yeah been that would have been neat. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, gosh, if you're gonna go to the trouble of doing the base, yeah. But I'm sure there's a lot of logistics that go along with that of putting LEDs up through the statue. But um, yeah, they do it for Iron Man. That goes yeah, back. Yeah. Yes, they do. To, to the weight of the stat statue. Some people don't like that because they have to hollow out the base now and add lights yeah. to it. So that's true. I noticed it looks like it's a, uh, uh, probably a plug-in wire for the light too. Yeah. Is yeah. that something you guys prefer, the wire versus batteries? I do. I, I only have both. Yeah. I like the wire. I hate switching out batteries all the I, time. I say, it drives me nuts. 
really does. So it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, because you have to like flip it upside down <laughs> the batteries. Yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Sometimes they have both, right? I think when I used to have the the Iron Man Mark 42, I think it had both. It had batteries and a oh, cool. an adapter. You can, so you can choose. I, I believe so. Right? I would have to check on that. Yeah. Okay. And that storm is 600. Okay. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. For a light up. Yeah. Uh, let's get back into our young Sigourney Weaver. You see what I mean? She just she looks pretty young. Yeah. Now that you say it, I think she does. I can't unsee it now. Yeah, I can't unsee it yeah, either. She looks younger than she did in Alien. Yeah. Way to go and ruin it for us, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have her face memorized in my you know my head, but that's the first thing I, I thought of when I saw that picture. I was like, wow, that looks really young to be her. I don't but it's definitely her, don't you think? <coughs> I, I don't really see it. I I would have to see that the you know the the still shot from the movie again, but I I don't know, I don't really see it too much. I know people love it though. Everybody seems to like it in the groups. So I don't it's got really good detail. There's there's a comparison, like on Statue Forum, someone posted a comparison of that scene. And <coughs> and you can tell she she looks younger here. Mm -hmm. Her eyebrows are darker here. Her hair looks a little better here than it does actually in the movie. Um and it's kind of a you know, sometimes with statues you get a idealized version of the actor or actress where they actually are better looking in the statue than they might be in in real life yeah um i kind of get that from the uh the tweeter head michelle pfeiffer catwoman i think michelle pfeiffer's gorgeous but that statue is is kind of an idealized version of her too i think um but certainly anyone looking at this is going to know that it, it's sigourney weaver in the aliens movie but it, it's not a perfect likeness i don't think Is he frozen again? <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe I thought maybe I had. <laughs> <laughs> Just making the, the live video official. It's a twofer. He hasn't done a twofer in a long time. <laughs> Somebody must be on the PlayStation. Right. Yeah, it's Ledger. It's two shots you got to take. Now. Ledger's playing some video game and yeah. talking the Wi-Fi. It's time to if anybody has to use the bathroom. Go take a bathroom break. I'm yeah. back. There he is. <laughs> Gee, many Christmas. I, I, I have had like two or three shows without a, without a pause, so that's pretty good for me. Make it Did up. You get my picture of Jade. Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. Um, she'll be at the very end, I think. Cause she looks good too. All right, let's try again. Sorry about that, guys. It's all right. Um, gives us a chance to talk about you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> got to get it in real quick, but yeah. Um, I, I was just saying that uh, before it cut out, I was just saying that I think that the likeness isn't perfect, but I think that a lot of people will still be real happy with her. Um, yep, I agree. Because <clears throat> it's definitely her from Aliens, but um, I just thought it was exciting. I thought it was kind of out of nowhere, so I thought that was cool. It's, yeah. it's definitely yeah. a good-looking portrait. Yeah. So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, I've got some ES. Uh, Eric referred to it earlier, um, but this, man, I love this statue. <laughs> I think it is so beautiful. Um but the edition size of four ninety nine. Are you surprised by the edition size on her? It's the price, man. <clears throat> She's expensive. If she, how, how many could sideshow sell of that at six hundred bucks? A lot. How much is it? So I think it's over a grand. How yeah. much? I believe she's about nine hundred plus shipping. Yeah. Mm. I don't know who she is. She's it's part of the uh, Darkness comics. Okay. Look at this one. Wow. 190. I'm assuming the gold version will be even less. You would think. And then 299 on Green Lantern. That looked really good in the videos I've seen. It did. <clears throat> looked really the construct good. Construct is gorgeous. Yeah. It's really nicely done, texturing the colors. Yeah. So I, I was really shocked by this one. But I, I mean, obviously, I think Green Lantern is going to be more popular than Red Death, but still. I'm kind of shocked that the Angelus had double the edition sizes then. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's a sexy female. So I think that's going to, in general, sell better. Yeah. But Badass Warrior yep. Babe always sells well. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking, though, the story is lesser known, I would think. 
That's true. Then, but maybe more people are buying her just because, you know, she looks so good. Maybe yeah. they don't know the storyline. Um, I think a lot of people that collect like um, Red Sonia, like you have a Red Sonia piece. I do. Um, which is a phenomenal piece. But I think a lot of people that collect those type of statues would maybe get this. You know, it's kind of that fantasy realm. Yeah, sure. I think they would all kind of fit together. Even though they might not be from the same story. But anyway, I thought that was pretty shocking. Uh, PCS also announced a modern Undertaker. Of course, Undertaker just retired this last weekend at WrestleMania, which was if you're a wrestling fan like myself. But uh, they kind of leaked what he's going to look like. And I, I don't know if this is a render, but this is more of a modern take. I think it looks pretty good. The likeness is pretty good. Did we see a company uh, doing an Undertaker? It's PCS. Uh, yeah. They did the classic, uh, the, you know, the 1990s Undertaker. Okay. Whereas this is more of the, you know, mid 2000s Undertaker. I think Vikings is pretty good. So anyway, um, I don't know if they'll tweak it at all, but I wanted to share that with everybody. Uh, we had a Aquaman teaser. What did you guys think of this teaser? That made a lot of people happy. Yes, it uh, did. Do we have any idea what scale this is? It's it's uh, it's well, it's one six, but it may be one fourth as well. A uh, comic book? Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's basically completing the original seven JL J Justice League members for Twitter head collectors. Nice. So that'll be exciting. It looks, looks like it'll be tall. Yeah, that, that the height makes me nervous. Uh, although it looks like he might be crouched down. That's what I'm wondering. The way the arm his, looks. Yeah, his biceps more like not like straight out kind of. I um, haven't seen anything from Chad on this one. Um, but I'm I'm really excited for Aquaman collectors, like you said, that can finally complete some of these collections. Uh in quarter scale. So that's exciting. Well, it's at least one six. We don't know about quarter yet. Oh, okay. Because this was a tweeter head reveal. Oh, okay. So it's one, definitely one six. We'll see about one quarter. One six for now. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. Uh, here's that Loki we were talking about earlier with the, uh, you know, the polystone head. What do you guys think of the likeness? I think it's incredible. Yeah. I, I didn't think that was a statue when I first saw the pictures. Yeah, it looks like a photo. Yeah. I just, I'm blown away with what Queen Studios has done here. Kind of cycle through. I think the pose is. Okay, like I mean, it's I guess you can kind of say it's kind of museum y, kind of a little bit boring with the pose, but I like the helmet, I like it. He looks sinister, even though he's just standing yeah. there. Yeah, are you surprised they didn't add the helmet? I am, yeah, I too. Wearing it though, in that part of the movie, probably not. No, not. I mean, it could be. I mean, like when he's walking through the streets, he was wearing through you know, wearing that same costume, but. I just think it would have been a nice, like, exclusive maybe or something. Mm -hmm. But also maybe it would have messed up the hair. I don't know. Yeah, so maybe that's, this maybe is a want wolf people, hair. Uh, they might not want people scratching up the uh, – is that oh, – it's not silicone, right? It's a uh, – No, it's poly. It's poly, yeah. But it is a wool – it's a wool hair. So that's a new hair technique they said they're doing. So – Looks hmm. good. I think it looks good too. Uh, again, real leather, which is awesome. That'll sure hold up a lot longer. Uh, light up feature in the base. So again, I mean, there's there is some bells and whistles to it for the price point. We'll see if uh, Mr. Delaney caves and ends up with this one. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that not one of the best likenesses you've ever seen on a statue? I, I, it does. I, it I don't collect Marvel, and I I really like this piece. It would make me want to order it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's my favorite villain uh, of all of the movies. Um, I love Loki. I think he's a phenomenal character and I really like, I mean, I, I think the, the Loki show on Disney plus made it, made me like him a little bit less just cause I like that more trickster villain character, but I don't know. I think they did just a phenomenal job. My problem is going to be if they put out like a Scarlet witch, this good, mm. I'm in big trouble. They're supposed to, right? Yeah. And I mean, I'm isn't she next? I think. I think so. So I'm, if it's going to be, if it turns out this good, that's going to be hard to pass up. Yeah. You might be in trouble. Yeah. Uh, price point again, 1,140 
for a quarter scale. So it's pricey, but it is competitive with other companies. Tom Holland. This is, is this your photo, Jeff? I don't know. I took several like that, but I'm not sure if that's mine or not. Um, you know, we, we looked at it in your video and it was clearly right out of the box. Um, yeah. Other than the hair, the hair was kind of a disaster, but I think some of these newer, I think this is the one that, um, that I found or either John sent me where they had kind of like, they had actually kind of messed with the hair and kind of tried to improve it a little bit. Um, these things out of the box usually look not very good. Um, some even have hair nets and things we've seen. So it is something that you do have to take time to style. Um, what did you think of this, the portrait? Did you like it in person? Did you think it looked good? In my video, I said that it's like 80%. Um, I think when, when I compare it to pictures of Tom Holland, the hairline looks a little high here. Um, he's got a pretty low hairline in reality. Um, and something about the eyes was was a bit off to me. But, I mean, there's no doubt it's Tom Holland. You walk yeah. up and you know immediately it's yeah. Tom Holland. But when you're talking about, I mean, this is almost four thousand dollars. You know, you you really want perfection, and there was something slightly off to me. What what kind of reaction did like when you were there filming? When people would come up to this thing, what what were you seeing from other people? Like, what were you, what kind of reactions was this getting? Well, I mean, I, I don't think there were any diehard statue collectors around when I was there. Mostly it was people taking selfies with it. Yeah. You know, that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. So were they excited? Like, did they think it was awesome? Like no. The, the casual collector? I mean, the casual fan walking up? Yeah, it was just one more booth at the convention, really. Okay. But like I said, you know, I didn't, usually I go to a convention, I, I bump into people who say, hey, I've, you know, I've seen your videos. There was nothing like that at WonderCon. I, I didn't see anybody uh, from the community. Huh. Well, that's but too bad. I should, but let me tell you what, what John said. He texted me about the hair, and he said, uh, the bust arrived late, so they didn't have the materials to improve the look of the hair. So apparently there's, there is a way to make it look better. I think it's just called a comb. It could be a comb. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just I, a comb. It looks really, his hair always looks like it's kind of gelled. Mm -hmm. That might make it look darker. It looks too light, but his hairline and forehead, I think you're exactly right. That's what's off. Yeah. I mean, he's a young guy. He's got a real young look to him, and I didn't get that feel from from this hair. That like hair made him look a little older. Yeah, it looks like a tube. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I said that in my review or in my video. It does. It did look like a toupee, especially from the back. The back yeah. looked really unkempt and not like Tom Holland. You know, this you've seen some hair, of these. Yeah. You've seen some this. of these channels like they will like take like the Wonder Woman bust and they'll actually wash the hair. Oh um, yeah. When they get it and they'll actually have professional people come in and style these. So I think that when you, the expectation is if you're going to get this bust and you're going to spend $4,000, you might have to do some work to really get it to look right. Um, which is unfortunate. It's, it's unfortunate. It's just not right out of the box, but I, I mean, it's just different. It's not a polystone head. It's not a polystone hair. And so you're going to have to do a little bit of fussing with it. And it's even more noticeable because it's so large. Whereas you have to do that with a hot toys figure that might be rooted hair at a very small scale. Whereas this is going to be more noticeable. So I think it's going to be even harder to achieve that. But I think I have seen a lot of these in people's collections that have messed with it and it looks phenomenal. Right. Um, and so again, I think that that's just a case of they literally took it out of a box. They stuck it on a podium that was way too small and there it is. So anyway, I'm glad you got to see it, though. Yeah, I was, too. I would have liked to have seen the Alita. I love that movie and I love that character. I was really hoping for a vision for you. Oh, my God. So you could have seen that. So but. I can tell you this. If anybody out there is waiting for vision, John did tell me that. Uh, and this was this was like a month ago. He told me production was almost complete on vision. Oh, great. So I think we're going to see that pretty quick. I wouldn't be surprised if, if we see that 
at the event this weekend. Well, that would be great. Wouldn't surprise me. We'll see. Uh, here's your Captain America. Um, yeah. The A was apparently damaged in shipping, so there's not the the key of the A. Right. But uh, this is fully not vibranium. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and you you kind of talked about him being you know pretty awesome. He's really great. I mean, some people, like I said in the video, wish there was a switch out right arm or he didn't have the hammer, um, but they decided not to do that. Um, but yeah, that that base is huge. It's, it's at least the size of a man of a manhole cover. Wow. And the, the um, lightness is very good. It's really good. Yeah, it's it's. I think people are going to be very happy with this piece. Yeah, it's it's neat. There's the and there was a didn't you say in your video that there's a break a broken shield also right yeah yeah it's like half of that but look at that likeness it's really good and that is sculpted it's not uh, silicone no I thought the bottom half was silicone I think I think it's silicone oh is it yeah I didn't know they were going in that direction I guess well maybe I'm wrong okay oh, hey, well maybe it's silicone. But cool piece. Again, I'm glad you got to see it. Me too. It was really fun. Probably the first people in the United States, right? I mean, that's seen this thing. Yeah, I would think so. I like the paint. The paint looks great. Uh, Jeff also took some great photos of some cosplayers. Looks like you had a lot of fun with that, Jeff. You know what? It's a great show. I, this guy was awesome. Yeah, he's really good. That was an incredible costume. This is a great show for cosplayers. I don't know if you've been to them. And she was especially great. Um, I don't know if you've been to the Anaheim Convention Center, but there's a big fountain outside the front of the building with um, steps going up to the fountain. So it's a perfect place for groups of cosplayers to get together and for photographers to take some great pictures. And they were just milling about in front of the convention center all day long, all three days. And we'd go out there to get some fresh air because you had to wear a mask inside. And we'd just sit there and look at the cosplayers and take pictures. And they were having a ball. I think she's really good. Yeah, yeah. Look at this guy. That's awesome. And this guy, awesome. he was just, he was the nicest guy. He was smiling like that the entire time. <laughs> he was having a great time taking pictures with people. And this is some of the group shots, which is really cool. Isn't that neat? That's really neat to, to see everybody. Is that, is that where the fountain is near there? Yeah, the fountain. You can see the water. Oh, yeah. You can see it right back awesome. there. Yeah. Yeah. So they had some of the DC and. Yeah, they would say, cool. okay, Gotham. And all the Gotham characters would go up. Okay, cool. villains, and all the villains would go up. It was really That's cool. really neat. That's really fun. Yeah. Uh, this is a piece from Iron Studios. This is the 10th scale Batman the Animated Series. Of course, we've talked on the channel before about the Joker and Harley, but this is the first time we get a chance to see the Batman. I think he looks awesome. What do you guys think? I like that a lot. That's cool. Uh, $150 for him. So a little bit on the lower side of some of the stuff out recently, mm -hmm. which is, you know, around the $170 mark. Uh, and then in addition, they had the uh, $1,000 um, Batmobile, which uh, I think is cool, but man, I still feel like they're overpriced. Yeah. yeah. yeah for a thousand. Um, and you get, I mean, for a thousand dollars, you got the 89 Batmobile with the, with the bat cave. Whereas this one's just kind of this flat gray panel. And, and there's the a lot less about this detail. Yeah, there's so much less detail on this. It's still neat and it's still, you know, accurate, but it's eh. It looks good for what it's meant to look like. It's just not a thousand dollars in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. But still cool. You can get them with Batman or without. Oh. So it's fun for Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is terrifying. So I have to give a prop to Paula. And like this didn't even come up on my feed, but this is from April Fools. And uh, this is terrifying, but it's pretty funny. That is funny. So I'll just let you guys soak in that nightmare. I mean, look at that. Look at that right there. <laughs> I go I go to bed soon. Come on. Yeah, that, that, is, I, that is nightmare fuel right there. <laughs> That's scarier than Alice Cooper. Yeah, it's, it's very terrifying. So we'll move on from that. Um, I think this is really cool. We actually saw some teasers of this, but now it's up for pre-order. Um, and this is the Kylo Ren. Um, what do you guys think? I think the likeness is really good. Yeah. 
I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm surprised it took him so long to release this, though. Are you guys surprised? This and Ray. Well, well Ray's not out yet, is it? Or is it? Uh, yeah, she's up for pre-order, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it they took both, a long They time. both went up the same day. Took a long time. <laughs> neat base. Yeah, really neat base. Obviously, that big epic battle. You can also have the swap out with the helmet. That looks cool. Which cool. I think looks awesome. I think this is, I just think they did a great job on these. Especially him. Yeah. Did they show these back at um SciShowCon last summer? They just showed one teaser each. But not not the full reveal. Well, they certainly showed yeah, they showed them. No, Matt's right. They showed them. They did? Yeah, they were at the con. So they were at the con, but then eight they months later they put them up for pre order? Yes. Or was it the, the Star Wars oh. week they did? Isn't that incredibly weird? I yeah. thought it was very weird. I look huh. at how timely the Black Panther was. Yeah. Right. This is Ray. I think she's good. I don't think her likeness is as good as Kylo's. Mm -hmm. But still fun. That's uh, she did. Uh, her bottle did her. Oh, nice. That's some. I mean, I think like that looks a little bit better to me. That angle. Yeah, I agree. Optimal viewing angle, right, Jeff? You bet. Um, but I think this is a great set for Star Wars collectors. And yeah. now that they're doing more Mandalorian stuff, and I don't know, I think it's in Boba Fett. It's pretty awesome to be a Star Wars collector right now, I think. That's for sure. Getting great bases on it. Uh, this was the exclusive for Ray. Um, I threw this photo in here because I thought it was pretty cool that they're doing some of the David Finch art at Sideshow now. Uh, this is Batman 700, which I always forget that this is not Bruce Wayne. <laughs> um, but still a very cool art print. One of my favorite Batman images to date. And you can buy that on canvas or framed. It's pretty neat. I uh, have some in-hand photos again of the, the Joker. Uh, there's still some question from collectors because they originally they said that everyone would be hand painted by Viper. And now people are kind of questioning that. Uh, remind me that's something I want to ask John when we have him on. Yeah. But I think that looks really good. Yeah, I do too. But I still want to see a sculpted. Uh, yeah. You still have the sculpted on pre-order, right? Oh, yeah. As do I. Um, I think that looks, I think these are some of the best photos of, of course they're dark, <laughs> but uh, I still think they're some of the best photos we've seen of him so far. Yeah. Uh, this was a piece from Iron Studios. This is a 10 scale. I think this was pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. That looks scale awesome. Tour. I thought they did a nice job on that. So that's up for pre-order right now. What scale is that? 10th? 10th. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Kind of a bigger piece for them with the throne. Uh, this was the the Peacemaker. I'm sorry, the uh, Blood Bloodsport that came out uh, from Suicide Squad. Do um, you guys feel like they improved the likeness? I I think they really improved it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, some people still think that. I mean, they commented on my video that they still didn't think it looked very good. Um, but I, I think that they improved it so much. I think that original version was was so bad and. I think this looks just like him, or at least pretty close. I just yeah. don't know how many. I just don't know how many people are going to want him. Yeah, yeah. It's, is it thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars? Yeah, yeah. Look at that though. That's incredible. And this is a uh, prime one in, in Blitzway. I did notice something interesting um, with the Harley from this line. They did prime one lowered the price a hundred dollars from the initial pre order. So it's fourteen hundred now on Prime One site, but Sideshow still has it listed for fifteen hundred. You're kidding. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Man, I kind of love that. If they're not selling, lower the price. That's what a what a novel idea. <laughs> That's a great catch, Matt. So, so Sideshow's got to get their cut still. Yeah. 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 And the shipping was relatively um, affordable um, to the East Coast here. I think it was like between fifty and sixty dollars for economy. Right. That's wow. cool. That's, That's for great. Prime One. Did you, did you order her? Um, 
I had actually did originally, but I canceled it. Okay. Um, I didn't do a very good job of, of adding photos with the helmet, but there's the helmeted portrait also. And then the helmet he can put in his hand. Hmm. So that, that was neat. And there they all are lined up together. That's cool. That's going to look awesome. Yeah. It's, and, and again, they are doing King Shark at third scale. So that would be Oh, my too. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the next one. Oh, my Lord. Is he so. going to be like the size of a half scale at that point? I, I would think so. Yeah. It's going to be big. It's going to be massive. I can't even imagine how much he's going to be. Uh, congratulations to all of the Poison fans. Uh, they obviously, it was an epic fail, I think, included here with Hugo. Uh, and so PCS said, screw it, we're going to offer her anyway. So what do you guys think of that announcement? It was a smart idea they should have done to start. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I love this one. I think she's beautiful. She is. Obviously from Street Fighter, PCS. And again, this is quarter scale, guys. She is up for pre-order as we speak at Sideshow. Pretty small piece, though. I think, was it like 17 inches or something? Yeah, I don't think she's very big. She's not a very tall character. But definitely sexy. Yep. Good face on her, too. Yep. She's a fun one. Uh, this is uh, one of the newer pieces from Hot Toys. This is from the Loki series. It's a great I, likeness. I was going to say, I, I think this is absolutely one of the best likenesses i've seen in a long time um we've got a close-up here there's the smiling portrait yeah. yeah which i think is very very good but i think i think uh the regular portrait is even better i think like it's just it's very him totally so congratulations on the sculptor here just really nicely done again look at that yep now this actually this one i think might be my favorite yep looks I good agree. Looks good. Uh, Moon Knight obviously has been very popular uh, here this week. Um, and this is the 10 scale Moon Knight from Iron Studios. So it's up for pre order right now. And of course, the Hot Toys just went up today. But I, I know, I know I some people that. were. Go ahead, Jeff. I love that piece. I think it's awesome. I do too. I, I, I've heard a lot of collectors say they really like this one and they're going to pick it up. So it's a cool one. Yeah. Um, they also did all four Ninja Turtles from Iron Studios in 10 scale. And I think all of these look really fun too. Got all of the characters. Yeah. yeah. Is this the, these came as a set, I think, in a, was like black and white or something like that? Or, or they all had the red masks or something? I, I don't, I don't know about Iron Studios. I'm not sure, but they all, you can group them. I think it was these. They, they had a, an exclusive to them. No, did they? It's where they came, I think, in a, a different color, and they were just all red bandanas, like the original. Oh, I, I didn't see them. Pretty sure it's these. Oh, they also did a 110 scale R2 and a Luke and Grogu. And then you can combine them together as well. So that's kind of a fun set from Meyer Studios. I think it's really cool. Yeah. good. I think it's good likeness on him, too. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. It's not bad at all for one-tenth. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, real fun set. Together like that is really a great idea. Yeah, I agree. And then you can, of course, do it just him separately too. So, mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, the reveal from In Art. Uh, obviously, it made a big, big splash with the Joker. Um, this is the the portrait from them, um, and I think this looks really good. Yeah. Uh, this is six scale. That looks good. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Good texturing on his beard and his neck. And I feel like the likeness is very good. Not the best angles they showed us, but <laughs> it's a teaser, yeah. I guess. It's definitely a teaser. Uh, I threw some photos in here of the uh, Infinity Joker. These have started to ship. And these are some of the best photos. I, I, I do still feel like he looks tired. Yeah. But I do think the likeness is very good. Um I think again here again you can see kind of the hair. It's just it looks very doll like. It looks very wig like, um, and so I think you just have to continue to keep playing with this stuff whenever you're talking about these busts. Uh, look at this. Oh wow! Isn't that crazy? Yep. You can see it on the knuckles. Um, yeah, it's crazy. 
so anyway, I wanted to include these photos. Um, just if you're interested, this is the first photos I've seen of him with a cigarette, which I like. I think that looks good. Yep, I do too. Obviously, they can't sell it that way, but you can certainly go out and buy some. Or even if it's a prop prop cigarette or something. So anyway, uh, this is the moon night I was talking about. Uh, did a hit or miss of this earlier today. I think this looks awesome. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever seen an LED light up feature, Jeff Morris, in a Hot Toys? The Justice League Superman had an angry portrait. I think the 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 eyes had a had a red light at them. Do they do it for the Iron Mans too? The light ups or no? Oh, the Iron Man figures do. Yeah, I never, I can't get the batteries in them. They're those little tiny watch oh, yeah. batteries. Yeah, that... I heard about that. Um, cool pose on it. I thought the, I thought the light up feature was pretty neat. Yeah. Um, I was kind of kind of surprised they didn't do a unmasked portrait, but maybe it just doesn't make sense for the character to be unmasked. But I'm sure eventually we'll see one. But some cool accessories, but look how cool that looks. <laughs> he looks awesome. It's really good. Uh, this was a, a third scale shown from PCS. This is the, um, the Scream character. So this goes along with their third scale line that they've been doing. I think they could sell a boatload of these horror things in quarter scale. Yeah, I was, I'm real surprised by the third. I don't know if it's because they're working with Sideshow that they couldn't do quarter. But anyway, it looks okay. Is that all mixed media? Uh, yeah. So it shouldn't be very expensive, I wouldn't think, because it's just a big clo cloak. Oh, I bet it will be, though. <laughs> oh, you're, you're right. I feel like I can make that. Yeah, I'm sure you could. <laughs> uh, this was an update I thought was really cool. They released photos of this guy. This is uh, from... Um, what was the name of that? Shang, Shang Li or um, Shang Chi? Shang Chi, thank you. Um, and they've actually updated the portrait, and I think this looks incredible. Really nicely done. This is, I mean, that looks like a photograph to me. But that's from Hot Toys. Yeah, that's awesome. That looks yeah, good. it's so good. And that is everything. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. You know, I we were talking about photos earlier in the week. I'm like, I don't have very many, but it's amazing how every day something new kind of trickles out where it's like, wow, there's just so much stuff out there, so much variety. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. Pretty incredible. Sure. 